Hi, I'm Richard Ferrer and I'm going to show you now how to use Stream My Game to stream Crisis from a Windows PC, whether it's XP or Vista, and to stream it over to Linux. And we're using a Linux PC and we're using Ubuntu uh, Feisty Form, which is 7.04. So the first thing you need to make sure is that you have Streamer running on your Windows box and it's displaying connected and ready to launch game. Obviously, you needed to have made sure that you've added the game you want to play, etc., as you could have you seen in the previous videos. And once Stream is up, running, and set up, we now need to go to our Ubuntu box and um, install the Linux player. So I'm at the Stream My Game website, and once you've logged in and you're registered, there's a page called Download Free, and that allows you to view these various different options. And the option that we're going to take is XP Vista to PC Linux. So that's to a uh, PC running Linux. So we click on there. Uh, the server, which is already up and running on our Windows box. And this is our Linux player. And you click on that icon over there. and that will give us the option of saving the file which is called smg-installer.sh to your hard drive. I'm going to save it to my disk which by default um, Firefox will save over onto my desktop. There it goes. 5.1 megabyte. And, and now you need to read these instructions carefully. We, we provide the MT5 so you can MT5 it and make sure that the file's downloaded um, correctly. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to go to our terminal on our Linux PC um, uh, and um, uh, we are going to go to the directory where we've installed or where we've downloaded the installer. And here it is here. Um, uh, and that is in my home folder. It's on my desktop. And there it is on my desktop. So I'm just going to copy and paste that because I'm quite lazy. I go applications and I'm going to go accessories terminal. And on terminal, I'm going to type cd and then I'm going to right click and paste the directory where I know the installer is. And then, if you look on our website, we give you instructions of what to install next. sudo, which puts you as super user, um, and sh space dot smg installer dot sh. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. I'm just going to paste it into there. Now we've got sudo space sh space dot forward slash smg dash installer dot sh and I'm in the correct directory. So hit return. We're asked for a password. Now that password is the password that you have from Linux. So it's the password you set up when you created your Linux installation. Password there, and when you type in the correct password, it brings you up this whole README file, which I suggest you read. Um, what we, one of the very important things on it is is that the present version of the Linux player requires SDL, and it requires SDL to be greater or equal to version 1.2. So if you don't have SDL, you need to install it, and you use that with uh, Yum. Is the most popular way of doing it. So it says ready to install. Yes, do I want to install? Well, this is Ubuntu that I'm running, and this version of Ubuntu comes with SDL already in it, so I don't have to worry about it. I push yes, and there you can see it just installed. It said it's completed. Um, and then it's going to ask you whether you want to read, and there's the whole installation. It's going to say, do you want to read the README? So I'll do yes, and look at the README, and you can scroll up or down with your... Um, page up or page down to read through the whole readme. We suggest you read through it. 
If you're using a firewall, it shows you how to configure your firewall to allow our packets to pass through your firewall, etc. I'm actually running this without any firewall on it whatsoever, which is not advisable, but it, for this demonstration, it just saves some time. To get out of the README, you just press Q to quit it, and that takes you back to the, uh, the, the prompt. So now I've, um, uh, uh, I've installed the software. The next thing I want to do is I want to associate it correctly with our website. And that's because we create a stream my game file on our website. And you need to associate that with your version of Linux. And how you do that is by typing in SMG protocol setup. And here's the line over here. It's, I'm going to copy that again because I'm kind of lazy. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste it in here. And see that says SMG dash protocol dash setup. You can be in any directory to do that. Hit return, and it's going to ask you whether you're using GNOME, KDE, or the option three, which is a port. Uh, this is Ubuntu, so I know it's GNOME. And I'm going to type in number one for GNOME. Hit return, and that's it. That's the whole installation. So now let's see if we can stream a game. I'm going to open up the browser. I'm going to go to your home. to your games and here's a list of all of my games that I've got on the stream my game that I've got linked into the stream my game server and I'm going to go to crisis and you can see there's a tip which seems to be authorized already and the service we're going to run is this one here which is stream game at home click on that and I'm going to stream it at 800 by 600 and I'm going to do it at 2 megabits per second and I'll do it at 1.44 per UEA. So I'm going to click on this button at the end, and that's going to start the stream running. And here we can see it's popped up. Says welcome to Stream My Game Linux Player. I'll uh, would you like to play on your first stream? I'm going to click yes, and then we'll have a look at the options. It's going to ask me now, can I let you log in with my saved username and password? I'm going to say yes. So let's do that. Let's log in with that username and password. Okay, so now we've uh, loaded into the game, we've uh, gone up to the free-falling level. Um, uh, we're just about to um, have our parachute break as we drop down into a lagoon. Um, I now have two mice on the table here. We've got this one, which is the actual game itself, which is running on this PC, controlling on this PC, and this one, which is running on Linux. So, we're going to hit the water at any minute, and then I'm going to start controlling the game through Linux, and you can get some sort of idea of the, the lag, etc. So, here we go up. The water. What the hell was that? And I'm going to swim over down to here. So, I happen to know that there's a beach over here. You can see as I look around the game. You can see that they're very well synchronised, there's no breaking up of the video content, it's remaining stable, um, the audio um, is difficult to tell with it synchronised and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up onto this beach because I'm going to get a gun then and when I get that gun I'm going to shoot it and you're going to get some sort of idea of, um, I've just got it for a checkpoint, some sort of idea of, uh, let's shoot this thing here. You can see it's very, very well synchronized. Oh, someone is shooting us over here from somewhere. And if I want halfway through, I can actually swap over to this computer and use the mouse from the computer itself. And you can see that they're both locked in together. You must have two people simultaneously playing the game, or certainly use it for teaching people how to play. And 
can see there's a hip hop shop there. I don't forget him. But let's enjoy shooting anyway. And that's how you stream a game from a Windows PC to a Linux PC and play Crisis on Ubuntu Linux.